Hello everyone, we will continue the topic. In the previous video, we finished with the layout designing part. We created the interface. We finished with the logic part in the interface. Then we use the interface while designing the layout and we finished with the layout designing part also. Now we will run this PDF form and we will see we do we have the expected output. So for the better understanding, I will put a breakpoint in the interface itself so that we can understand how we are getting that data, how data is fetched and display in the layout. I'll just go to code initialization and I will put a breakpoint there in the interface itself. So I will write break point. You can debug by break space username also. Now I will run this our PDF form or Adobe form. Sorry, I clicked on to layout button. I'll close. I will activate simply. I will activate our PDF form and now I will run. Now, whenever you are running your PDF form in the introduction itself, we covered similar to smart form, every PDF form or Adobe form also generates a function module. And you can see this function module is dynamic in nature. It generates at the runtime. So in the future also, we will take this into consideration. Now I will give the input. Suppose input is 4971. I will go to execute. This is the device. I'm passing a device LP01. I'm going for print preview. And you can see the control stopped into the interface where we put the queries. We have the data in the first internal table. Now we have the data in the second internal table. This is your header data and this is your item data. Now I will simply, simply execute. I will open. You can see we have a PDF output is there. So this is our first sub form second sub form, third sub form, fourth sub form, fifth sub form, sixth sub form. So we have this output in the PDF format. Now we will come on to most important point, which we discussed in the previous video also. If you remember, our item data is dynamic in nature. See, for the test case 4971, we have only one item and it is displaying. Now, if you want to cross verify your logic, means whatever you did, you took the sub form to float, you check the checkbox, allow page break within content. See, here in this test case, we have only one item. So we are able to see on one page. If our data is exceeding, is our data is shifting to next page or not? So we will verify our logic. Okay. So what we will do, we'll just go for a dummy logic. I'm saying we are going for a dummy logic just to cross verify that if our item data is shifting to next page or not. See, in the project, if you have a test case where you have so many line items, Yes, your data will shift to next page. You can check at that point of time. But for this time being, just to check that our data is shifting to next page or not, I'll just write a dummy logic so that we can verify our thing. So what I will do, I'll just go to the interface which we created. 
and I will just write a dummy logic to go for some few lines in VBAP. So I'll just write 200 times. I'm just appending 100 lines to LTVBAP internal table so that we can verify our data is shifting to next page or not. What is our work area for VBAP? LWA underscore VBAP postnar. Suppose I'm going for postnar 10. Then I will go for amount. Suppose I'm going for amount as 100. And I will go for currency. Suppose currency is Indian rupees. I will append work area to internal table. Just I put a dummy logic to append 100 rows to this internal table VBAP because that is our item data. Then I will remove this logic also. Just uh, we want to cross verify that our data is shifting to next page or not. I will run our PDF form. I will give the input. Print preview. I will see if internal table has 101 records or not. Previously, we have only one record. Now you can see we have 101 record. This is just a dummy logic. I'll go for execute. I'll go for open. And you can see our data automatically shifted to next page. You can see we have first page. When data finished on the first page, data shifted to next page. Data shifted to next page. Data shifted to next page. So we have verified our logic also that whatever the changes we did for last subform, we set it to float. We check the checkbox, allow page break within content. That logic is also working fine. So this is the way to cross verify. So now what we learned in this particular video, whatever the interface we did, whatever the PDF form we designed, we simply, simply verified the output of that. Now what we will do in the, in the next video, we will go for master page now. We will design something on the master page and we will see is that particular thing is appearing on all the body pages or not. These all are our body pages. So we'll see in the next video that whatever we are designing on master page is appearing on all the body pages or not. So that's it in this video. Thank you.